What is going on, everybody? It's your buddy, the 14th Prime, and today we are looking at TFCon third-party toy releases. So we've got, uh, we're going to be looking at Sirius, the Solo Wing, Armada Starscream, Little B, Robo B, Slip Swarm, Exclusive, uh, Beast Wars Tyrant, which is Megatron, Beast Wars Primal, uh, B Movie Shatter, uh, Dre, Vayverse Drift, uh, Chaos Hammer for Unicron, um, we've got O1 Studio Cell, Overmind, and Seed, which is an energy, Energon, Deco, Unicron, and Primus, which is definitely coming, definitely on my list. And he's a headmaster. I'm going to show pictures in a second. We've got uh, Chaos Blaze. We've got um, Samurai Sideswipe. We've got Baby Optimus. We've got Newage, Wheeljack Swoop, uh, another Swoop, and a Sea Spray. Um, we've got Non F Productions, 3 inch modular kits. We've got Marksman which is um, Double Dealer, we've got, not Double Dealer, uh, Overlord, uh, Destroyer, we've got Purple Naval Commander, Blaster Team, we've got uh, Punch, Counter Punch, we've got Panda Racer, uh, Tear Down, Grave Digger, we've got Decerator, which is um, uh, Devastator. So but anyway, here is, um, like I said, Armada Starscream, which is actually called Sirius the Solo Wing, made by these guys. Looking amazing. They did the wing um, as they were supposed to, I guess. Uh, here is his awesome looking jet mode. Now, this toy is available from Hasbro, of course. These are all um, third party, but the Hasbro one, which is still in my Walmart, here's this is my one thing about these uh, that are from Collection Space, Kang Toys, Make Toys, Robot Toys, Metagate, O1 Studio Cell, and there's Little B. My thing is that. A lot of these toys are like three and a half inches. Um, the photography makes it look a lot bigger. Now, not saying that about B. B is the little B is like five point five inches, but <clears throat> that star screen is like four point seven inches. So take that. You know, what I mean, think about that when you're looking at a lot of these uh, dope new toys that are coming out by these third parties that were shown at TFCon. And there's little B in her Volkswagen mode. Um, then they've got this crazy looking like dinosaur um, Robo Beast. Uh, these things look crazy. I can't wait to see them painted and colored. But then they combine. Um, awesome concept. You know we all love a great combiner. Uh, these beasts look absolutely incredible. Then we get by Remaster, we get... Um, Slipstream, but for them it's called Slip Swarm. She looks amazing. Um, the jet, the colors are perfect. I like how that purple and the blue hit together. Um, and again, like I said, these are like 4.7 inches, you know. So if you, you know, if you have Unicron or you know, plan on getting the Primus or whatever, these are going to scale kind of like HasLab to our normal, you know, deluxes. Um, but again, if that's your collect, because I know a lot of people collect third party, um, and I've seen a lot of videos Transformers four seven 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 with some awesome third party toys that made me be like, wait, but where he get that from? You know what I mean? So with that being said, uh, the, you might want to take a gander at some of these gorgeous toys that they've got coming out. Posability crazy. Um, the mechanics, the engineering on these toys are also way beyond Hasbro to be so small. They've also got a Defensor coming. Now, this is a prototype of Defensor, and I love what they did. Um, I love how they Hasbro kind of took their uh, Menasaur and made it great. But this is like a smaller scale Menasaur and a smaller scale Defensor. Look how they incorporated the motorcycle. Instead of like with, um, you know, like for scale, Combiner Wars, when you got the bike, the bike was the size of a car. Like, it just didn't, you know what I mean? But what can you do if you want it to be a robot? So here we see Streetwise and Groove, uh, which could potentially be another one more combiner that I, I grab because I do not own a Defensor. I have the original G1 Defensor. Don't have a new one. So, but uh, look at that prime looking head on him. Um, these guys, you can tell... They're going to fold up nice. They're going to combine nicely. The There's barely any lines in the vehicle modes. You know what I mean? Like, they're simple and simplistic, yet they still have a level of uh, of ingenuity to them 
to get them transformed. Like a lot of these toys, I have a few and like I can honestly say like the steps, it's like 30 steps to like one of these little guys. Here's their Minasaur. Um, I've seen this one before. Uh, I guess they like just put it next to the Fensor for size comparison. But let's see how they did theirs. Cars on the back, you know, just like Hasbro edition. The cars separate just like Hasbro. But I bet you it's a whole lot easier to find all of these guys as a components um, as opposed to Legacy Menasaur. Thank you, God, I was able to finish him. Um, and Power Master Prime is being worked on. Again, these were all shown at TFCon. Um, now, I didn't really like the vehicle mode, so I didn't show it. So we got Run em Up and Run About um, in their respective, uh, what was that, 87 Fiero, uh, I think was the original car modes for them. Um, and these are reminiscent exactly to kind of close to what they looked like. Um, these guys, and now, like I said, look at, the, look at the car, look at the robot modes. Like you can see where certain things fold or whatever, but where'd the wheels go? You know what I mean? Like where'd the window go? You know, like they really put a lot of effort into the transformation and the detail of these guys. Like they, they didn't have to put the rear view mirrors. They didn't have to put the windshield wiper. You know what I mean? But that's how the Fiero was back then. They do a classic retake on G1 Ironhide. If you had G1 Ironhide, you knew that his back cab opened up into this like little space cruiser kind of thing, but with uh, medic stuff on board. My aunt had that one. Um, but yeah, and then we've got what, what? The Joker. Just what out of nowhere. I think the colors on this guy looks amazing. And I, I might be wrong, but I think this is what he transforms into. Not this exact vehicle, but I think this is the same vehicle that he transforms into. Um, I believe this might be like their rendition of Cheetor from Toy Dojo. Uh, but yes, this comes from the reformatted collection. Um, and again, I know a lot of y'all don't like third party or whatever, but obviously it's working. I think they didn't came to some kind of deal where like Hasbro or Tommy Takara gets some kind of cut. Now you get Drift, um, Bayverse Drift, but his name is, uh, this is from Metagate. This is Brave Warrior. These are the same people that are making that uh, Bumblebee movie Shatter that I showed y'all a couple days ago. Um, we've got uh, this new Megatron, who is, I believe, a triple changer. Um, they didn't show all of his modes, but they did show this one helicopter slash tank-ish mode of him um it's uh this is from robot toys rto2 tyrant and some of these are up for pre-order if you go to the chosen prime you can pre-order some of these guys like i saw that samurai sideswipe was up for pre-order then they have their little core class um sound wave i mean you obviously know what it is um they didn't show his alt mode but i'm guessing it's the tape and we've got sea spray here which is uh let me check my notes sea spray this is from newage um, a new awesome take on Sea Spray. Uh, Newage Huffer um, for, you know, uh, comparison purposes. Sorry, my brain just went blank. But yeah, this guy, and it's crazy because I've got this guy on his on the way to me. Not this one, but I mean Sea Spray. And I like this little boat mode of his. Uh, right here, we've got uh, Newage G1 Mirage. Somebody else that I realized I didn't have this morning. I have a purple Decepticon Mirage, but I don't have a white and blue one. I got to fix that. Um, and then, you know, here we go back to their small size um, Ironhide. Awesome toy. And like I said, these scales, see, with like Studio Cell 01 um, Unicron. You know how, like, I mean, they don't scale with it, but it's close. And that Unicron actually isn't even Titan size. He's like 20... I want to say he's 20 inches, like 18 to 20 inches, like the size of uh, Combiner Wars Predaking or Combiner Wars Devastator. Um, and, and I missed out on him. I didn't miss out on him. I just didn't get him because HasLab was having theirs. And I thought that it'd be cool, you know, to, but I have Armada Unicron. If he was a little bit bigger, would have got him. But yep, here is uh, another um edition of drift uh samurai warrior drift um I, i'm just i'm blown away and this right here takes the cake primus as a planet um he is a headmaster this is like this blew my mind 
not only is he turned into a planet, he is a headmaster, and his head becomes none other than Alpha Trion with the beard. With the beard. That is so awesome that we got we can get a headmaster of Alpha Trion that comes with, you know, the crown, and then he becomes the head to Primus. Amazing. And then almost last here, we got um Samurai Sideswipe. This little teeny car looks absolutely gorgeous, like a Hot Wheel, you know what I mean? But he transforms. And look at all that articulation, the fingers, the elbows, wrists, hands, neck, waist. You know what I mean? You can't ask for any more out of these guys. Then we have little baby Chibi, Optimus Prime. is Makudu Chibi. It's made by Magic Square. But the difference is this one transforms. How many of y'all have seen these little teeny toys like this and have been like man i wish that they if only they transform because i said it um and then we've got punch counter punch this guy looks absolutely amazing and then when you flip him around yeah and he's called panda racer type bond and james so uh, obviously punch counter punch you got bond and james there's the awesome look i don't know what it is with fieros but they're making a comeback apparently with whoever makes these um Actually, hold on. Let me tell you who makes these. Uh, X Transbots makes this. So, but yeah, like I said, these guys are for pre-order. Here comes the other one, and yeah, they they're also making a yellow uh, version. One is Panda Racer, um, one is Panda Racer Type, and one is Panda Racer. So anyway, it's your buddy the Fourteenth Prime. That was TF Con's exclusives. There's still a whole lot more. Y'all have a wonderful evening.